Yo, what's cracking everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here, and oh my god, the rumors were true. We are getting Forza Horizon 5 this year on the 9th of November, and of course, it is going to be set in Mexico. I'm actually speechless. At first, even when the rumors began circulating around, I was very skeptical about the location, but after seeing the trailer, along with some very early footage, I have to say, I'm sold. Maybe it's also because many of us are craving for a New Horizon game and anything that's brand new is perhaps amplified a lot more, but let's quickly talk about what was being showcased at E3 as there is a lot to absorb. Firstly, Xbox left Horizon 5 as the second last game on their presentation and that speaks volumes as to how much faith Microsoft has in Playground Games and this franchise. I was keeping an eye out on your tweets, you know, you were all saying, where is Horizon 5? Well, at least we now know that this franchise is quote unquote main event caliber status moving forward. Alright, so let's talk about the trailer. Of course, many scenery shots were presented early, teasing the viewers what game is this and where is the setting, but once the vegetation and cactuses were shown, I was like, yep, this is Forza Horizon 5. And one thing I can't help but to notice is that some of these shots do look eerily similar to those of the Xbox Series X trailer where the Koenigsegg Regera was driving across a field. I don't know whether that teaser was leading towards Horizon 5 still, but I can see some similarities. I don't know, what do you guys think? But then of course we move over to the Mercedes AMG Project 1. And remember, this car was hidden deep inside the data files of Horizon 4, and I guess as the car is reaching a lot closer to its production specs, it can finally be released in the game officially. Then we have a typical sort of trailer you would expect from a Horizon game. A lot of diversity with off-road buggies driving through towns. And here we briefly see what I believe is the new Ford Bronco and also the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 10 with a wide body kit. Then we have this Porsche driving through some off-roads showcasing the diverse landscape. And I have to say, the lighting truly looks incredible. It's giving me some of that Australia vibe that they had in Forza Horizon 3. Then we have a couple of supercars driving through the rain with lightning, which didn't surprise me at all, seeing as these weather effects were showcased as a feature in the Fortune Island expansion pack back in Forza Horizon 4. More landscape cinematics, and this really reminded me of Forza Horizon 3 with the trees and waterfall, which leads me to believe that diversity is back into the Horizon franchise. Here is a Porsche Panamera, which I believe is new to the Forza series. And then we have some very interesting shots of cars driving through what seems to be a sandstorm. And following that, a few more amazing shots, and that's the end of the trailer. My first impressions after seeing that trailer was literally wow. <laughs> That's what I said. I was like, wow, this is this is really cool. It actually felt like a Horizon game again, if that makes sense. I'm not trying to knock Horizon 4, but this trailer certainly had that vibrant aura to it, and it looks like Playground Games have created a map more closely related to Horizon 3, not necessarily with the location, but conceptually as well, with a huge range of diversity. Honestly, after seeing that trailer, I was already very satisfied. And then Mike Brown jumps on the screen and uh, we know when he's on, we are going to see some more early gameplay footage. But what I found interesting in the beginning was that he said that this will be the biggest and most diverse map in a Horizon game. How much bigger is it? Obviously, we don't know. However, it's good news that even at a small percentage being bigger than Horizon 4 or Horizon 3, along with, of course, the huge diversification of what the map provides, it would make the map feel a lot bigger. So then we begin with what we now know is the AMG Project 1 Forza Edition, which is very cool right off the bat, as they're showcasing a Forza Edition car already. And then right after that, we see our very first Forza Horizon 5 gameplay footage. And this is known as the Expedition, where players set out a journey across Mexico to explore new locations for the festival to expand. I don't know about you, but that sounds to me we are possibly getting different Horizon festivals again. We then see new wildlife like flamingos, and then of course it reaches to a new spotlight location. Next showcase is a drive with the Forza Edition Mercedes Project 1, and this is all in-game footage by the way, it's not been beefed up for showcase purposes, and man, 
it, it, it looks great. And the reason why I do believe this is because if anyone's played Forza Horizon 4 on the Xbox Series X, the graphical differences between that and the original Xbox or even the Xbox One X is a pretty big difference. And seeing what they have presented here, this all looks very capable for the Xbox Series X. We see the beautiful deserts of Mexico. And already, if you compare this scenery with the previous one that they showcased, we can already see the diverse in landscape that the map offers. Then we fast travel over to a small town with the Lamborghini Huracan and you know, I just keep saying it. It's very encapsulating, you know, seeing the Xbox series consoles at work is quite aesthetically pleasing to say the least. And according to Mike Brown, it's a Mexico map that has been recreated with honesty, authenticity, and filled with a lot of love. And I can certainly see that already. Another inclusion looks like they've added creative works from real artists. Now, I don't know based on this trailer whether or not this mural we see here has been created specifically for the world of Horizon 5 or taken from one of the artist's real world murals. But nonetheless, it's a very nice addition to the game and will be scattered across the entire map. And just before it cuts, we can see that the Eliminator has returned, but this time with a whopping 96 players in a session. Jeez, that will be very chaotic to say the least. Then we head over to a new location for the Horizon 5 map, and this is an active volcano, supposedly. <laughs> and this is where the highest peak of the Horizon 5 map will be, and it will be the highest of any peaks in any Horizon game. But seeing this, I can't help but to notice that the environment on how the mountain slopes down looks a bit like what we saw in Fortune Island. But the details can't be denied and the viewing distance in Horizon 5 has also been increased vastly, meaning across your entire screen from what you can see, everything is very detailed. And here we see what I believe will be the main city for Horizon 5. Now I've seen some Google images and it's absolutely gorgeous. And from the gameplay in this wide body Evo 10, it looks like a very intricate city to drive around. And that is of course, judging by the minimap on the bottom left hand side. Uh, it looks to be a drifter's paradise if I'm honest. But of course, this is just a small portion of what they have showcased. And then as the presentation moves along, we see more of the diverse map with the canyons in the Koenigsegg Yesco. And to be honest, when I was watching this the entire time, for me, the map is by far one of the most, if not the most important part for the game. Because as we take away the cars, what is the next important thing? The map. And so far, Playground Games have showcased that there is a lot to explore. Also, there has been some mini games that have been implemented too, which looks very fun, including the finale of this presentation where we head over to the stadium. And this is where you can create your own races, define your own rules known as event labs. Shades of Super 7? I think so. I had a feeling that when Playground Games brought in Super 7 for Horizon 4, that they might perhaps refine this feature, expand it, and possibly put it in the next Horizon title. And here we are. Of course, this is just the initial reaction and analysis of what we all saw at the Horizon 5 E3 presentation. And I'll be doing a lot of Forza Horizon 5 content in the very near future. Anyways, what did you guys think about Forza Horizon 5? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Make sure to write it down in the comment section below. I will be reading all of them. And lastly, if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button as that would really help me out. And of course, if you would like to see more Forza Horizon 5 content right here on this channel, make sure to click the subscribe button with notifications turned on. That way you won't ever miss out on any news for Forza Horizon 5. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.